Hello, this is Aysar from Gaza. It's now almost one year for the war. More than 40,000 people lost their lives. Hundreds of thousands are suffering from different kind of injuries. After one year, I can see in people's eyes that they started losing hope. And this is very dangerous. When people lose hope, they start to lose their mind too. I think there is hope. But it's disappointing that we don't even know when this war will, would end. Time is a beast in this kind of circumstances. Sometimes I regret that I didn't evacuate Gaza with my family. <clears throat> it's a struggle to live alone in this kind of circumstances and situation. Sadness and depression is knocking every night whenever I close my eyes. I still have one brother here. I go to visit him every week. He's sheltering with his mother-in-law. I play with his son who was born in the first month of the war. Whenever he laughs, uh, I say to myself, he can't live all his life in a war. That gives me some hope, some hope that the war will end. Sometimes I think about Japanese people who suffered from the nuclear attacks during World War II. The difference is that Israel threw what equals to nuclear bombs over one year. But when I see Japanese, Japanese people demonstrate and call to end the war on Gaza, I really feel appreciate. We really appreciate this. It inspires me that we will stand on our legs again, just like how Japanese people stood. And that will continue being, we will continue being fighters for our freedom. And we will also inspire, inspire those who need to fight for their freedom, for a better world.